Well, ever since high school, I've loved music as well as art. Uh, I won a few prizes in high school. From high school, four days after graduation, I went to a commercial art course in downtown Minneapolis. And it was a 15-month course, and it taught me an awful lot about design and lettering, you know, a little bit of everything. From there, I made a portfolio and won a scholarship to go to the Minneapolis Institute of Art. Well, this was in 1967, and there was a war going on. And as a guy from Minnesota, I volunteered for the draft. So instead of going to college, I was in the Army for supposedly two years. Uh, I went through basic training and AIT training, and when I got to the jungle in Vietnam, there was a mapping unit across the street. I was with 30 other guys that didn't know anybody. Uh, I went and I asked for a job, and because of my history, they kept me, and I was a cartographer for 15 months. So I got out of the Army uh, in 21 months. I, got, I stayed in Vietnam three months extra to get out three months early. From there, I went back to Minneapolis. I tried to go to college. It just didn't work out. And I ended up in, in Lake Worth, Florida. I went to the art shop in Lake Worth, and I never left. I started the next day. I made picture frames, eventually bought the store. We sold art supplies, made frames, ready-made frames. And in 1985, uh, my wife and I, we opened Bruce Weber Gallery. And I kept expanding the business, buying the building. And eventually we uh, um, were kind of a driving force in downtown Lake Worth. Your works could emit a sound. What would that sound like? mellow and fun that'll do it yeah that is it